Hello and welcome to What Are the Odds? I'm Eamon McEnany, happy to be joined by Gary Apple. And Gary, we're gonna focus on Edwin Diaz here. And to start, let's take a look at the odds of which relief pitcher will lead Major League Baseball in saves. This is according to DraftKings Sportsbook, and of course, based on a $100 bet. So if you place $100 on a role as Chapman to lead the league in saves, you'll win $800. You see uh, Kelly J Kenley Jansen there at 800 as well, and Edwin Diaz coming off a rough 2019 would win you $1,400 if you placed a $100 bet on the Met reliever. All right, Gary, do you consider Edwin Diaz a candidate for a potential bounce-back season this year in the Mets bullpen? Oh, I do without question. By the way, Eamon, where was Kirby Yates on that list? He led all of Major League Baseball in saves a year ago. But, but listen, when it comes to Edwin Diaz, we know how volatile relievers can be. So he had the great year in Seattle a couple of years ago and struggled badly last year. But the one number that I point to is strikeouts for nine innings last year were the highest of his career, which says to me, if he could get that slider right, and that slider was flat for too much of the year last year, we know the velocity is still there. If he can get that downward tilt on the slider and make it the effective pitch that it was out in Seattle, I really do believe that Edwin Diaz can have a bounce back year. And especially with what is going to be, if we do get down to playing baseball, a shortened season and this sprint to the finish and the way pitchers are going to be used differently. I do think, Eamon, that Edwin Diaz can be a major key in that Mets bullpen and is prime for a bounce back season. Well, to be honest, Gary, I don't have as much faith as you do in a bounce back year out of Edwin Diaz. Doing, I don't point to the slider or the shortened season. I think the one thing that might benefit Edwin Diaz the most is the fact that there aren't going to be fans in the stands. You're going to have limited access to True. the media after games. I think you're going to actually look at New York City almost as a small market. Now, again, we have no idea what that access to the media is going to be. But everyone last year pointed to the fact that he was overwhelmed by New York and he just couldn't handle it once the season got off the rails. I think it'll be a major benefit to Edwin Diaz, the fact that there aren't going to be fans in the stands and limited media access so it can take some of the pressure off of him. Obviously, Gary, there's going to be pressure pitching for a team that's contending, but I think the pressure that comes with New York is going to be much different this year. You know, I mean, you, you bring up a really interesting point there. I've had a chance to visit with Edwin Diaz about this. We spent time together during spring training, and I asked him about pitching in New York and everything that comes with it. And he really has got a steady head about that. He understands the pressures of pitching here and what it takes to win and pitch well in New York, but he says he's really not concerned about that. Will the baseball be as slippery as it was last year, which gave him problems and others problems around baseball? I think to me, that's a bigger issue that, than pitching in New York. He can handle it, I believe, and I do think he's primed for a really good season when we do get that back down to playing baseball. If he doesn't bounce back, it could be a long year for the amazing. It's great talking yeah. baseball with Gary Apple here. And remember to keep it locked into SNY.TV for more what are the odds?